It's about eight o'clock. Nothing has come to the corn. Which, I don't know if that's because I was making all the noise this morning with the cows, or uh, we're just in such a deep rut mode that these deer are just locked down in the woods right now. I had two deer come out when I rattled and I grunted. And to be honest with you, I couldn't even tell if they were does or bucks. Acted like a buck, obviously, responded to the rattle and calls, but one looked like a doe to me. I'm starting to get hungry again. I haven't eaten since like 11 o'clock yesterday. I'm starting to get my appetite back. I've lost like eight pounds, so I need to eat. And I also haven't drank anything, haven't drank any water since uh, probably about five o'clock yesterday. <laughs> I'm out of water. Let's get down out of the tree. Let's get our belly full. Let's get back to work. Here I am at the cleaning station. I wish I was cleaning something right now, but I'm just here to get some water. I'm kind of becoming like a hippie on the bottled water thing. I think there's something to plastics hanging around. Uh, leave those plastic bottles in your boat or your truck and get those plastisols. Just kind of leaking around in there. I don't think it's good. So anyway, I, I use this filter when I'm um, RVing or uh, you know, just use my camper, and I'm just slide it onto the uh, the old spigot here, and it gives you clean drinking water really fast. Not sure if it takes out viruses or not, but you know what? What's one more stomach virus after uh, after getting over one? All right, that was step one. Step two, go make some tea. And I know you're saying, tea, why not coffee? I love tea, I know you love coffee. I do, I love it so much. I, I really drink coffee about half the week. Uh, so I either go full week of coffee and then a full week off coffee or I kinda switch it up. But when I'm traveling and when I'm hunting and camping, I like to go with the tea because it's just a lot easier. So this is actually what I make. And I get honey. So I got raw honey right here. I do a mushroom tea. Chaga, lion's mane, miyataki, turkey tail, all that good stuff. Good for your immune system. And then I do some chai. So this stuff will stuff will wake you up a little bit. It's got a little bit of caffeine, but it's not crazy. And all I gotta do is just mix that in hot water. I don't have to filter anything. There's no cleanup afterwards. I just stir it in a cup. All right, let's make our mixture. We're gonna get a nice, healthy scoop of the shrooms in there. Oh yeah, a little bit of the chai spices. I don't want to go too extreme and upset the old tum-tum while we're up in the trees. Solo. Oh, goodness. I felt that one, y'all. Wow. I don't really know what the best move is, but I'm just going to try a bunch of things. Uh, something is going to die this week. Okay? Putting that, reverberating that out into the woods right now. Something one of you animals with four legs is going down. I don't care if it's by broadhead or by bullet. It's happening. Let it be known. Okay, flirted the animals. Now I'm gonna drink my tea. Just have a little reset. We're gonna get back into hunting mode. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is right there now. Oh, yeah. Cheers, guys. Y'all, there's, uh, there's not a whole lot left in this world that you can put your trust in. You got the good Lord. You got your wife, your best friend, if you're lucky. Your trusty dog. 
and then you got your 308 bolt action rifle. <laughs> and when you need to get something down, uh, this is what I'm going with right here. I'm just gonna take a shot with this just to make sure we, we've got an accurate gun. You know, it's been sitting since um, my elk hunt, I guess. I want nothing more than to get a, a doe or buck down with my bow, but I'm not leaving here this week without some meat. So, a little 200 yard pop shot. Just see if we are still on and good to go. Good to go. Literally like 75 yards from where that bullet just made impact on the gong over there. And uh, I came over just to check a feeder and then look right here. Scrape. Fairly fresh scrape. Rubs. This was not like this just a few weeks ago. It's obviously, it's, there's things happening right here. So I may, I may go ahead and try to set up some sort of ground blind. <laughs> So we're going to be hunting right down there, All right, really just 200 yards from here. 
I'm gonna take a couple of 40 yard broadhead shots from right here. It's a little windy up on the top of the hill, but I just wanna make sure uh, everything's going well. I'm gonna switch up the bow, switch up to my peeped bow, because I think I'm gonna have to take a longer shot down here. So I was aiming here, and some of that is that wind drift. Uh, it's not great. So I'm gonna spray a little, little, uh, little testosterone juice, a little buck piss in uh, some of those scrapes I saw down there. This is really the only opportunity I'm gonna have to hunt this spot because of the wind direction. Uh, it's, it's kind of a weird spot to hunt uh, with the usual winds. And we just have um, sort of a unique wind right now uh, where the, it's just blowing away from the feeder. So if, when deer come in there, I'll be able to, to be covered and be all right. But um, tomorrow it's gonna shift. I, I won't be able to, to hunt in that spot. And that's the only dark spot with a lot of cover that I can set a blind. So we'll have to make a game plan tonight, but I'm just vlogging these days because every day is, is different. <clears throat> and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. So go ahead and smash that like button. Hopefully we're going to get something down. Come on. I think these deer in the evening on the spot, they usually come out a little later because they're usually waiting for the vehicles to leave to go to the other blinds. I'm going to grab the big lens. Hopefully we'll get something on camera right here. I'm ready. Everything looks good. Feels good.
I'm not sure if y'all could hear the last noise that I heard in the blind there. Actually, I know you could hear it. It was really loud and it was right behind me and it, it spooked me for a second. I thought I heard a buck chasing a doe and then I could hear him, you know, hooves. I kind of hear little bleats. And then all of a sudden I hear a roar. So, uh, I'm sure it was, it was the buck. And I think what happened was the buck that I saw that 10 point, he ended up finding the doe that he wanted and then chasing her all over the place. They did a couple of wraps, laps around me and I thought I was going to get uh, an opportunity, you know, knocked an arrow and just got ready. But then instead of running in front of me, they ran right behind me, but he sounded like he just got out of prison like a pig, like a boar, grr, like, I don't know. It was way more aggressive than I was thinking. But just another crazy day in the woods, y'all, um, with nothing down. Again, I mean, it's, it's going to happen eventually. It's not going to happen if I don't sit out there and try. Uh, but we definitely didn't sit around today. We actively hunted, uh, rattled in three bucks, probably totaling a, 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 um, about 100 inches in antler length uh, between all three of them. And it just seems like a lot of the does are locked down in the woods with, uh, with bucks, I guess. Next video, uh, it's, it's really my last full day of hunting and uh, we're gonna switch things up a little bit. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for being with me in the woods again. Um, just I, every time you go out in the wilderness, in the woods, just sit i don't care if you're looking at squirrels uh it's just entertaining it's entertaining to watch animals you hear and see things that uh, a lot of people don't get to see it's really only hunters and people that enjoy just sitting in nature get to see it's um it's a blessing so every time you get to do it enjoy your time in the woods soak it in and uh, those are sacred moments, man. So thank you guys for being here. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for more outdoor action. And I will see you guys on the next one.